What's going on guys, Shane here. So today I'm gonna share with you 20 MMA combos that you can add into your arsenal. And you'll notice my style here is a combination of boxing, Muay Thai, and Taekwondo. The three arts that I trained for a combination of 16 years or so. So that's really gonna shine through. I wanna take this time to promote my seminar that's on this Saturday. So if you're in the Los Angeles area, definitely come check it out. It, this is sort of a sneak peek of what to expect, a very small fraction of what I wanna teach. So if you like the combos here, you're gonna love what you learn at the seminar. High kicks for MMA and for Muay Thai kickboxing, but we're gonna go over stuff that other people don't train and don't know how to defend against, like ax kicks, crescent kicks, setting up trick kicks like submarine kicks. May not even know what that one is. So definitely come check that out. Tickets are right here or in the description below. We would love to have you guys there. This seminar is powered and sponsored by Quest Nutrition, so definitely check out the VIP packages that we have available too. All right guys, let's get it started with our first combo. All right, first up is a very Dutch style kickboxing combo, starting with punches and finishing with a kick. Jab to the body, jab to the head, cross, long uppercut, and then finish with a low cut kick. You can slip a punch when you throw a jab to the body and then stand up tall for a jab to the head, follow up with a cross right down the pipe, and then you're gonna lift their head up right on the chin with a long uppercut. Doesn't have to have a ton of power, but you get them off balance, heavy on their feet, step out, and boom, crush them with a leg kick. And then in shadow boxing, you wanna get in the habit of following through and checking the, the possible counter kick there. All right, so there's the first combo. Up next now is sort of a Dominic Cruz or a TJ Dillashaw combo. You're gonna throw a double jab, but on the second jab, I want you to shuffle your feet into a southpaw stance, lead hook, and then finish with a kick. All right, so a jab nice and long, then you're gonna shuffle your feet and throw the same side jab. Lead hook now from the switch stance, and then you can throw a head kick or a body kick, leg kick, and then again, follow through with your check. So jab, shuffle jab. Get in the habit of doing that. It's a great combo there in itself. All right, third one now is just a boxing combo for speed. So we're gonna go lead uppercut, rear uppercut, lead hook, cross, roll, cross, all right? So we're just going for hand speed here. Lead uppercut, rear uppercut, you should be able to roll them out really quick, all right? Follow with the lead hook and then the cross, then you're gonna roll your head underneath. All right, you see this diagram here going underneath of a left hook, create that angle and then follow up with a cross. So a little bit of a longer one here, but it should be super quick. Number four, we got sort of a Steven Wonderboy Thompson combo working our Taekwondo. So it's gonna be a lead side kick, cross hook, and spin into a back kick, all right? So the side kick is, is like a jab of the foot, all right? Nice and long to the body. As you come back, cross, lead hook, and then you're gonna pivot through here and then striking with your rear leg for that spinning back kick. It can do a ton of damage if you land this and creates a lot of distance too. All right, working our Muay Thai in combo number five here. It's gonna be a cross lead hook, stepping in for an up elbow, and then we're gonna post out. So cross, that lead hook creates an opening, and we're gonna come right down the center with that up elbow, spear it throw, and then post out, create that distance so that you're not there for the counter elbow. Combo number six is another boxing combo. We're gonna start off with some defense and then counter to that. So a common combo that your opponent will throw is a one-two. So we're gonna parry the jab, helmet guard the cross, and then we're gonna counter with a cross of our own. Step in, let's work the body with a left hook to the body, and then same hand to lift up their head with a left uppercut, cross. Then we're gonna slip their counter and then come right back with another cross at a beautiful angle right there. All right, number seven is a great MMA combo. I actually stole from Phil Davis, Bellator fighter. It's a Superman jab, and then you're gonna step into a deep low cut kick, all right? So you're gonna fake the teep, Superman jab, kick that leg back, step out, low cut kick, and again, check, follow through so that you can block the counter. Combo number eight is a page right out of Floyd Mayweather's book. We're gonna stay in the Philly shell stance and bait our opponent with a pull counter and then counter to that. So we're gonna lean back, keep your chin tucked, and then counter with the cross, the lead uppercut, and then when we throw our pivot hook, I want you to draw your rear leg back so we create that 90 degree angle so that you're out of the way for any counters. All right, combo number nine is some more traditional Muay Thai. We're gonna throw a fake jab, head kick, and if we miss, we're gonna follow through with a spinning elbow. So fake the jab, get them to react, head kick. Let's say you miss because they pull back, follow through and throw that spinning back elbow. All right, number 10, we're gonna work with what they call the gazelle punch, all right, the leaping lead hook like Joe Frazier. So this one covers a lot of distance and it's good to get on the inside. We're gonna throw the jab and then we're gonna slip the cross so we can get on the inside and they're exposed now for a hook to the body, all right? Really dig in there and then go with a hook to the head, sort of like what Mike Tyson used to throw a lot. If they back up, that's when we're gonna leap in and throw that gazelle punch, all right? Both feet leave the ground same time, both feet hit the ground same time. All right, number 11, we're coming back to the Superman punch, but off of a counter, okay? So once our opponent throws a kick, we're gonna check it and Superman punch right off of that kick. Then we're gonna step in for the flying shuffle knee. All right, Superman punch, take a step forward, shuffle, flying knee right to the chin for the KO. All right, combo number 12 is a tricky Taekwondo combo. We're gonna do a double shuffle to confuse our opponent and then go low high with a double roundhouse kick. All right, so double shuffle, 
Low kick is just a snap kick, no, no power on that. Same thing with the high kick, but if you catch someone on the head, it's gonna do a ton of damage. All right, number 13 isn't the most realistic combo, but I thought I'd throw it in there because it looks cool. So it's a wheel kick to an aerial. All right, you get a lot of momentum with this wheel kick here. Technique is key, and then a no-handed cartwheel or an aerial to finish, and then in this one, you're gonna do it, and then flex and look cool at the end. <laughs> All right, combo number 14 is a Mike Tyson combo here. It's gonna have a lot of head movement from the peekaboo stance, body head combos, and then finish them with a cross, all right? Slip to the right, slipping the jab, slip to the left, slipping the cross, back to the right, and then we're gonna roll our head underneath to get that dominant angle for the hook to the body. With that same hand, you're gonna lift their head up with the uppercut, and then boom, take them out with the cross. All right, so slip, 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 roll, body hook, uppercut, cross. All right, coming back to more traditional Taekwondo stuff with number 15 is going to be a snap kick to the chin followed with the same side side kick. All right, so front snap kick and then put that foot down right into the side kick, working the body. Two strikes here, but a great combo. All right, combo number 16 is one of my favorites, Frankie Edgar or a TJ Dillashaw combo here. Great for wrestlers, you're gonna fake that shot, step in, and then we're gonna land a head kick, all right? So you fake the shot so that they sprawl or at least lower their level, then you light them up with a cross, step forward for the lead head kick. All right, definitely practice with this one, this one's great. Some more traditional Muay Thai stuff for number 17, we're gonna start off with a flying knee to cover distance. Get on the inside to the clinch, work a knee, throw an elbow, and then of course, you always want to exit the clinch in a smart strategy. And we're gonna talk about this. We're also gonna go over a lot of clinch stuff in the seminar. So again, tickets are in the description below. Cool, all right, so number 18 now is another boxing combo, but we're gonna work the paw away. So it's a jab, pull the hand down of your opponent to create an opening literally drop in their guard, and then you're gonna follow up with the lead hook. So it's almost a guaranteed way to land a punch. All right, so throw that paw away punch as if it's a cross, pull down on the hand, lead hook. All right, combo number 19, we're working side kicks and back kicks again, starting off with an oblique kick, a kick right above the knee, then we're gonna reset and throw the back kick. So set up with a faint jab, oblique kick right above the knee to stop in their spot. When they come forward, they'll walk right into your back kick. All right, last but not least, number 20 is just combining boxing with our Muay Thai. So we're gonna block, cross, step out for the lead leg kick. So we're gonna slip to the right and keep that opposite hand up just in case, throw the cross, step out, and then land that body kick. It could be to the head or to the legs as well. All right, guys, so some of these are simple yet effective, and other ones are more advanced. Either way, you wanna bring something new to the table. You wanna have mastered the basics, of course, but it's always good to be unique, to stand out from other people and throw techniques that other guys don't know how to defend against. And I will teach that at the seminar. And be sure to follow me on Snapchat too so you can get these, uh, these combos of the day when they come out. All right, guys, until next time, I'm Shane with Fight Tips. Thanks to all of you who have su subscribed so far. And for everyone else who's watching, help us get to a million soon. Till next time, I'm Shane with Fight Tips. Self-defense for the underdogs.